So Football Manager 2023 is released on the 8th of November and we are going to be doing the Youth Academy Challenge save when it gets fully released. But what is the Youth Academy Challenge? Well, let me explain. The Youth Academy Challenge save is a save where you try to win your respected Champions League using only players that have come through your Youth Academy system. And for this save, we're going to be using clubs that were previously unplayable when the game started. There are 39 different nations you can play, but I'm going to go over the ones that you cannot use for this save. Australia, Hong Kong, India, Malaysia, Singapore, South Korea, Holland, Ireland, Latvia, Russia, Canada, USA, Colombia and Peru are the only nations in this game that you cannot use for the Youth Academy Challenge. So, you are left with 39 different nations you can do the Youth Academy Challenge save with, as shown by the nation selected on this screen. And you are going to take a side that's in any of these nations, take a previously unplayable side by simulating to the end of the first season, and then the aim is to win the country's top division and the Champions League of the continent you are in, with a side that is comprised of only youth intake players you cannot make any transfers no buying back any four players at all even on a free and no loans are allowed in this save after you have taken charge of the team so how do we set it up so for example if i wanted to do a save in england i'll choose these nations england france germany ireland italy northern ireland scotland spain and wales why those nations well, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Ireland are neighbours, while the other nations involved are the big five. So, we're going to confirm these. But the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm actually going to go to the database, custom database, and do the following. I'm going to go to divisions, go to Europe, and go to England, and then click every single one of these boxes. It'll be a tedious thing. But you'll see what I'm going to do here and why I'm selecting all these boxes when you see the player count go up. There is actually one more thing you need to change in the advanced options down here where you are not allowed to add key staff and you are not allowed to have attribute masking off and you cannot have the in-game editor on. So we've added all these leagues, we've added all the nations, now we're going to load up the game. So what you're going to be doing next is actually going to create a manager. But the thing is, your manager that you're creating now is not the manager you're going to be using because you're going to be simulating forward. So now you have made your manager, you're going to simulate forward until the 29th of May because we're going to see the last player final and we are going to save at that point. So I'll see you there. So we're now here at the 29th of May. And we're here because we're going to see if the team we're looking for gets promoted or not. And how do we figure out which team we want to be promoted? Well, we're going to England. We are going to reputation and some of the clubs we're looking for have got good reputation, some don't. What I'm looking for is someone like Chesham, Salisbury, Billericay to come up. If they can go up, that's fine. There are eight promotion spots for the sixth tier, so we'll see eight different teams go up. Whether or not they do so will be fine, but we're going to holiday until the beginning of the season when it ticks over and we'll go from there. So, let's go to that point in time. So, we are at the 25th of June, the leagues have reset and we now know who have gone up and who have gone down. This is the National League South and we can just go for the re season preview and there's four teams up. Folkson, Ghostboard, Billericay and Toro. And in the Northern Leagues, it's Geisley... Warrington, Tamworth, and Stolbridge. So that's how you get your teams to be promoted. We're going to make a save at this point. So I can go back and check out if the 29th is actually the reset date for this competition. So we'll be back in a bit. So we're back at the 29th. We're going to go forward and see what happens. And if we get different teams to come up and come down, we've already got about four teams in the National League, North and South in the relegation zones, which is fine. This is what we came back to, and we're going to see what happens next. I'll be back in a bit. So we're back, and we do have different teams. So we didn't have Rush Hole in the second tier north last time out, and we 
definitely didn't have Enfield Town last time or Hendon. So you can reload your save on the 29th if you're not happy with the teams you've been given for your options. This is good. It tells you what you can do. And also, another quick bit to show you where you can get your information from who's gone up and who's gone down. Season summary, you go down to here. You go down to the regional Premier Divisions promoted and you see all eight sides that have been promoted to the sixth tier. That's how you know who's gone up and who's gone down. And that is why it is very good to know that you can do this. So for the last step, we are going to take over the team. I'm going to show you how this is done. But first and foremost, we're going to see what team we want to promote and who we want to take over. And for this particular example, I want to take over Enfield Town. So what I do is retire the manager, the original one, and then we make a brand new manager. So what we're going to do is we're going to have no coaching badges and only a Sunday league reputation. This is how you are meant to make a manager because you're going to have no coaching badges to begin with and only a Sunday league reputation. We're going to confirm and we are going to add this manager. So we're taking over Enfield in this example and that is how you start up the UFA Committee Challenge in your own save. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope this has motivated you to actually do this kind of save in the future yourself if you want to try it out. There will be a link down below where you will be seeing an SI form which will tell you how this is done. And there will be a load of other people that are playing this save as well. So feel free to talk to them and to discuss down below what country you want me to check over in the Europe Academy Challenge save this season. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. But either way... And next time, goodbye and well, good night.